happening, Lesby fam? Hi, Lesby fam. So, I'm going to... Uh, as most of you know, Erica and I did reciprocal IVF. We started our journey about a year ago, to be technical, like two years ago, but um, we went to the IVF orientation two years ago, and yep. then we went through the process in, in January of 2017. Mm-hmm. Started the process in March 2018. And now the baby's going to be here <clears throat> any day now. Any day. So we're getting ready. Um, if this is your first time watching our vlog, welcome to Let's Be Mom Show. Um, again, we did reciprocal IVF, which is a little different, a lot different than what the other moms did. So we will be showing you that vlog um, at the end of this video. You can just click on it if you kind of want to refresh and see our process. We are 38 weeks on Friday. Friday. <clears throat> and I guess after 37 weeks, the baby can come at any time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm new to this. So uh, we told a lot of people, you know, she's 38 weeks and everyone was asking if we're ready. And we said yes because we felt ready. And then the next question was, did you pack your bag yet? No. Negative. Nope. So apparently we are not ready. Um, but we're doing that today because, like we said, she can come any day now. And we need to be prepared. So um, I don't really know what to put in a hospital bag. Never done this before. So I just put... Excuse me. One outfit. Right? I think that's all I'm going to need. I think you should put at least two change of cl clothes. I put two pairs of underwear. Because <laughs> you got to stay fresh. Yeah. And I have a Medela bra. I have a breastfeeding tank top. So here's our bag. Okay. Oh, let's just show them. We got a bag. Ta -da! She has a nursing uh, bra. Yes. I think it's cold, right? Yeah. She has a nursing tank top. Yes. We have some, um, Baja. Baja Spanx. <laughs> Forgot I packed it. <laughs> we have some leggings. Leggings. So I just figured I needed an outfit after we're done, right? When you get to the hospital, they should give you like a gown. But I am taking my own moo which show them, show them. I just found it at Ross for $11. So I'll be in like his comfy pajama and it says kiss me because my baby's supposed to be a Valentine baby. Technically your due date is February 15th, but I think she's gonna come early. I think she's gonna come on the 14th. So we'll see. I need to wash this though before I take it. I got a thermal because hospitals are cold. I got yeah. my favorite sweats because you should always be in your favorite thing, right? If you're gonna be in hospital. I hate hospitals. They smell, they're cold. They and don't smell, what do they smell like? Like a hospital. Hospitals have a smell. They do. It smells like a hospital. I don't I can't really like pinpoint it, but it smells like a hospital. So we got these from one of my coworkers. Um, her, his wife gave us these. It, they're really cool. So one of them says, "Keep calm and push." The other one says, "Just kidding, get this baby out." <laughs> so I'm she's, gonna wear those. She's for gonna sure. wear those. She wants to wear those. We got two fluffy socks because, like I said, hospitals are cold. Mm -hmm. Um. um a few girls told me to uh, take a robe, and I don't know if you've ever seen, but I've worn this robe Are you many this? times. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Oh. I have a red fluffy robe, but I think it's maybe too much. I don't know, let me know. My robe looks like this. Um, if it's too fluffy, then I won't take it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. We got um, some nipple shields. Nipple shields, yeah. I don't really know what these do. 
but they go over your nipples so the baby when the baby's so, I don't know they help latch I guess we got uh, these things no idea what they are these are breast pads so um, I don't leak I just I think I should take a few now this this is the this is the winner winner chicken yeah. dinner right here yeah it's by Frida baby and it's a badge wash <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming that just squirts up here. Yeah. So, um, good girl. you know, as of now, I'm having a natural birth from what I know. So, uh, after the baby comes out, you know, you're going to be bleeding and stuff. So this little washer was highly, highly recommended because it just, it, look at the spout. It's like perfect. So you just aim, squirt. I don't really think we're gonna fresh. need this, but that was. I don't really think. I mean, what if you're not okay? Alive? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I won't need it, but this is given to me by my girl Boo Boo, and um, I think it's so cool. So like, when you're breastfeeding one, in case the other one's leaking, you just kind of let this one chill, and capture. I know, but you know, I don't know. Let's just take it. Who knows? We might need it. Uh, that is nip cream. Specially designed to um, soothe your nips, so I think we should definitely take that. Okay. Yeah. And then we got the toiletries. We toiletries. Got shampoo. shampoo, body wash, conditioner, and then I have a, a really um, good massage oil, lavender massage oil, just so I can get a rub down. By Erica. We got some headphones, some Beats headphones. Yes. Yeah. We got. That's about it, you know. I'm gonna take my chargers. I'll probably take the laptop so we can watch some YouTube. I'll probably take an extra pair of shorts so maybe I can do a workout. Cause when I'm stressed out, that helps me. Where are you gonna do a workout? In the room. I was gonna do like burpees and air squats or something. Push ups. I don't know. Something. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um. That sounds good to me. Yeah. So that's what's in our bag. I, we, like I said, I don't really know what to pack. But oh, I, I think that's stuff we're gonna need. Get to show them a really cool compartment. Ta da! I have my slippers. I'm taking slippers. That was highly recommended too. Um, what happens if you're sick before your baby comes? Do they not let you in there? Because it, you can risk like getting your newborn sick. I don't know. You never got the T dab. You need to get that shot. Oh shoot! Because I feel like I'm getting sick. I really do. You like my to, nose is running. You need to get that shot. I think you should. Yeah. Or you're not gonna be allowed. That's our bag. That's our bag. We're now ready. We're I think we're ready. One. I think we packed everything that we needed if there is anything that you guys you parents out there moms and dads <coughs> suggest that we should take please let us know share with us we would highly appreciate it um but i think we're ready i think oh chapstick I keep oh, forgetting shit, the chapstick yeah. we'll throw that in there chapstick. yep and so um we're ready i think yeah. we're are you nervous no i'm not nervous I think you're gonna be like, I think you're gonna be like, gee. Take it like a champ. Yeah, me too. I'm ready, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what she looks like. I think she's gonna have a lot of hair. I think she's gonna be super small. <laughs> I think she's gonna be like, six pounds, two ounces. Let's take a look at Dina's belly. So we're 38 weeks. This is Dina's belly. Here's the side view. What's the front view? <laughs> the other side view? <laughs> Not that it matters. All right, comment down below. What do you guys think? You think she's gonna be on time or due date is February 15th? 15th. Uh, on time, early, late. What's the size? I think 6'2", I'm gonna say she's gonna probably be like 18, 19 inches. She's gonna be a little baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for supporting us, for being on this journey with us. We're almost there, we're almost at the end. She's almost here. 
Uh, so make sure you share this with other people. Yeah. Purpose of this show is to raise awareness, you know, to bring to light that we're just ordinary people just trying to have a family like anyone else. So um, more we can get this out there, hopefully the more that we could really normalize. Yeah. We're fortunate enough to be in the Bay Area um, where it's, you know, a lot more common. You, you'll see a lot more same-sex families. Um, however, the rest of the world isn't, isn't like the Bay Area. So, you know, this is kind of why we are doing what we're doing, sharing our lives with you guys and trying to be transparent as possible. Yep, so please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thanks, guys. Thank you.